<laughs> Does BMTH know about Giga Chad? Yes. Um, it's frightening. It's just some fucking weird internet thing. Just Google it. Just Google Giga Chad. It was. It's just like some weird dude with like this fucking weird chin and. Hello, I'm Matthew Nichols from Bring Me The Horizon, and I am going to answer the most asked questions about Bring Me The Horizon on Google. What Bring Me The Horizon? I just tear the top one off, yeah? Oh, what genre is Bring Me The Horizon? I don't know. You get asked this a lot, especially when no one's ever heard of your band. You know, it's like, oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, I play in a band. Oh. I always just say rock music just generalize it but i guess you could say we're a bit more than just a rock band well we like to think we are so yeah i just generalize it and say rock but we're influenced by a lot of things like metal dance music hip-hop movie soundtracks game soundtracks anything if we think something sounds good and we think it could benefit our band and uh, we could incorporate those influences into the music we're making then why not use it you know it's better than just pigeonholing yourself and just writing the same old stuff over and over again you gotta broaden your horizons no pun intended yeah just enjoy what you're making soak everything up like a big sponge this is some seriously strong attack <laughs> what are bmth songs about life i guess mainly our singer's life it would find it hard to sing about stuff that didn't really mean anything to us do you know what i mean maybe in the past we've got some some of the more metal songs, what were just like outrageous, trying to be like metal and just have daft lyrics about like lakes of fire and dragons and stupid shit. But um, I think nowadays it's uh, it's more from the heart, emotions, feeling, just the way the world is. You'd be better off asking our singer about lyrics and stuff. But I'm so I'm taking a guess, but I reckon it's just about life. <laughs> What is the meaning of Bring Me The Horizon? It, it's, it's from Pirates of the Caribbean, the first film. We use it as a lyric. Bring me that horizon. No, we changed it to Bring Me The Horizon. And I think, yeah, it was a lyric when we didn't really have a band name. For some reason, it just stood out to us. And we were like, we should probably call our band that. So we ended up doing that. But I guess, I mean, it's not just a... We're not massive fans of Pirates of the Caribbean or whatever, but um, I think it just meant like it was the kind of mood we were in when we were young. We wanted to just travel the world and go about, go and do things and, you know, go and see things. And I think it kind of captured uh, how we were feeling about, you know, being young and being in a band and wanting to make in more of your life and getting out and seeing things and doing things and just not be in our hometowns and just, yeah. <laughs> They are real questions. Next one, let's see. What DAW does BMTH use to record? Oh, Pro Tools. Yeah, Jordan's quite a, a genius when it comes to our DAW. Uh, but yeah, Pro Tools. I mean, I'm sure we've dabbled in other things and whatever, but mainly it's just Pro Tools. Um, like I was saying, Jordan's a genius when it comes to stuff like that. He knows all the shortcuts and stuff. Pro Tools. <laughs> Oh, I've ripped that. What is the best BMTH album? For me, probably Semper Eternal. I think because it came from when the band was in a really weird place. We didn't really know what we were doing. We were kind of just worn out. Um, a lot of us had a lot of like personal problems. Only went to rehab. We were all just in like limbo with the band, really. We didn't know if the band was going to be a band. And so we were in a weird place before that. I think, like I say, we were just burnt out, didn't know what to do. And then... Everyone went through stuff and we got our heads back together, brought Jordan in for a little help with the writing. And then I think it, we came out with the best stuff we've ever written. And I like them all to an extent. Sam Paternal for me is the best Bring Me The Horizon album. What does the BMTH star symbol mean? Um, it's like just a hexagram. I'm guessing it's like an alchemy symbol or something, but um, we used it for our single Antivist and it kind of stuck around. And um, we just, someone made us like an interpretation of it. They just changed the shape a little bit. It kept the bait, like it's the same shape, still a hexagram, but um, 
we just kind of did our own interpretation and um it, yeah it just stuck with us and now we kind of just ran with it i like it because i do the merch and i can just put that on the merch and it's easy uh, but when when the way i look to the merch is i look at brands and a lot like big brands have a logo you know so yeah it's just i'm guessing it's just an alchemy symbol what we stole and ran with Does bring me the horizon. <laughs> Does BMTH know about Giga Chad? Yes. Um, it's frightening. I'm not like switched on with all the whole TikTok and all this stuff and whatever. And you know, maybe if I was a young person still, but I'm old now. But oh, we do know about Giga Chad. Yeah, it's like, I think Can You Feel My Heart is a like the Giga Chad anthem or something like that. And it's just some fucking weird internet thing. Just Google it. Just Google Giga Chad. It was. He's just like some weird dude with like this fucking weird chin and I don't really know what it is, but I've seen it. Uh, <laughs> but apparently one of our songs is like the anthem of the Giga Chad. But just Google it. It's fucking weird. Like 99% of things on the internet these days. Does BMTH play old songs? Not if we can help it. Um, not the very old songs. I mean, we've moved on. We've come a long way from playing those songs. It's not really what the band's about anymore. Like, we've got better songs, you know? Like, people always ask us to play these old songs and they want to hear the, the worst songs. But we've got better songs. We play some old ones. Well, I say old and go back to Sempaternal, so they're not that old. But um, if we have to, if people really want to hear them, we're playing one on this tour, which we haven't played in a long time. So yeah, we don't really play old ones if we can help it, but I guess now and then we might throw one in and surprise people. But like I was saying, we've we've just come a long way. We're, we're better songwriters, when, like better musicians as well than we were back then. Does BMTH believe in God? No, not really. I mean, no, not in like the, the sense of a, a hairy, like bearded man in the clouds. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what I believe in. I've never really given it much thought. I'm quite ignorant when it comes to stuff like that. I definitely don't believe in like the Christian sense or anything like that. I mean, maybe I believe that there's got to be something what's bigger than us. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, for me, not really. No, don't believe in God. Does BMTH use auto-tune? No, not live. I mean, in the studio, these little tweaks and stuff, but we tweak everything. The drums get samples put over the top of them, you know? Just got to go in the studio and you've got to make it sound the best it can sound or you end up with a big pile of shit and no one's going to listen to it. But I mean, no, our singer's just worked his arse off to uh, actually be able to sing. Before Sam Paternal, he couldn't sing a note and I'm not even lying there, it was terrible. Um, but he's worked his arse off. He has singing lessons on the regular. Jordan's helped him a lot with his singing. Jordan can sing like Freddie Mercury, Reborn. But no, he's just a really hard worker. He believes in himself and uh, yeah, he's done really well. So live, we don't use auto-tune, but in the studio, we might tweak some things. But like I say, you tweak everything in the studio because it's got to sound good. How many songs does BMTH have? Fucking loads. We've been a band for like, how old am I, 36? Maybe like 18, nearly coming up 20 years, so loads. They vary from not so good to pretty decent. So yeah, they're all on the usual streaming services. So listen to them. And you might like some, you might not. The answer's loads. New songs coming, yeah. We're actually working on them at the minute. We've got a studio on our bus. We did it in America and um, we wrote a bunch of stuff actually, recorded some stuff in America as well. So hopefully one pretty soon. But yeah, as for like the basics of a, a record, I guess we've got some good stuff coming along. It took a while. I think these things are always hard, especially for us. Cause our band's quite perfectionist and um, we change our mind a lot as well. So it's hard to, you, you'll write something one day and think it's wicked and then you'll go away and you'll come back to it and it's you don't think it's as good as it, you thought it was originally, but it's coming. It's coming. Just trust us, trust the process, but um, we've got some good stuff coming along and hopefully this tour, we've got a lot of downtime where usually we just play FIFA. Uh, instead, we're trying to write music 
and um, it's coming along well. But yeah, we should have a song at least very soon.